Secure men are starting to wake up and realize that they deserve better for themselves, they deserve happiness, and they deserve to have standards and boundaries too without being bashed by the opposite gender. They are waking up and a lot of y'all don't know how to sit with it. A lot of y'all don't like it. You say you want a good man, but you know what comes with a good man? Boundaries, standards, discipline, a man that's gonna challenge you. But the issue is a lot of y'all don't want a position. You don't like it because it makes you uncomfortable. It disrupts your sense of normalcy. You're not used to a man telling you to level up. You're not used to a man correcting you or giving you some type of constructive criticism so that you can better yourself. You want a man that's gonna be a pushover, a man that you can easily manipulate to your convenience. You wanna live the soft life, the life of leisure to which you don't have to do anything. You don't have to grow because everything is just thrown at you. And secure grown men are waking up and realizing it's not gonna work like this. No, this ain't gonna fly. The men that y'all so badly wanted to grow up, they grown up and y'all better be ready for it. Y'all better be ready to level up cause they out here. Look within yourself and really ask yourself, is this what I really want in a man? Am I ready for this? And if not, Lord prepare me so that I can receive this because maybe I don't know what I'm asking for. You know, the unfortunate thing is that most women these days were not raised to be uh, wives, not raised to be girlfriends. They were raised to be independent. They were raised and taught that they could do whatever they want to do and still get the benefits of all these traditional uh, values, the traditional marriage, traditional relationships. And it just doesn't work like that. You see, this is the world that we live in now because you got a lot of women that are the opposite of her telling women the complete opposite. No, girl, it's all about you. If a man don't accept you for who you are, then you don't need them. Well, what happens after that? They go out there and they constantly float through all these different men, adding up all these different bodies, and they still never find that guy that's going to take that. The only guy that they're going to find that takes that is usually the guys that are going to use them or guys that are going to be weak. And the weak men are the ones that they're not going to respect after a, a short period of time because the men are just going to be walked all over. Women are not predisposed to like that. Women are predisposed to like men that are strong, that are protectors and that are providers. They're not predisposed to like weak men that let them get away with everything. It's just not how it goes. And men are just not going to want to deal with women like that. Women like that are just gonna get in the recreational use zone only. They need to have like this big school to train women how to be wives and how to be girlfriends, especially if they never got that. If everything they've heard their whole life is be independent, don't depend on no man. Why in the hell do you think they can then go get into a relationship that with the man, a marriage with the man and play a role that they have no idea about because they weren't taught that. You see, a lot of women have this independent thought process, but then they want the complete opposite of that for men and you know why? It's because it's an aid to their DNA. It's an aid to their biology. Nurturing all those type of things, being in a relationship with the man, being protected, that is something that is part of being a human being. No amount of lectures, no amount of speeches, no amount of videos is gonna take that away about independence. You can scream independent all you want to. You can scream, I don't need a man all you want to. You can scream, I don't want children and that doesn't matter. And I'm happy being with myself and my dogs are enough all you want to, but you can't fight the, uh, your biology. You can't fight your DNA. So while you can get on the videos and scream and say whatever you want to say, you cannot fight that. It just does not go away. You guys need to stop believing that. And I hope that more people like her, more women like her speak up, even though she's going to get you know, thrown under the bus because she's saying what she's saying because women, a lot of women don't want her to say this. You see, it's the truth. So a lot of women don't want to hear it. So my advice is you should listen to more of what these type of women are talking about instead of what the women are telling you that are just miserable and they want you to be miserable too because why would they want you to be happy when they ain't never found happiness themselves? You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.